Hey everyone, Hans here. Today, a really quick video. I just want to show you a quick way that you can use to identify PLG or product-led growth B2B SaaS companies, or alternatively to identify sales-led B2B SaaS companies using Clay. It's a really straightforward, simple, I mean, won't call it a trick, but a simple workflow, but I really want to share with you guys. I've been busy, but um, I figured this quick video would hopefully help a few people. Um, and I'm excited to share it with you. So let's dive in. So here's the clay video I've been working on. Just the basic um, clay table that they had in there it was just to give you an idea of how this workflow actually works, how you can use this. Uh, how we're starting is um, we're going to start and let me just take one step back. So the basic idea is we have all these SaaS companies here, but maybe our solution only works for product-led growth companies or uh, reversely for sales-led companies. So what we want to do is we want to find out whether or not they have a pricing page on their website. Then if they do have a pricing page, chances are already a little bit higher that they're PLG. Then we're going to layer on top of that, I suppose, the amount of salespeople or business development people or roles they have um, in their in their ranks, I suppose. And then if they uh, say do not have a pricing page and they have a lot of salespeople, business development people, then chances are they're uh, they're sales led. And in reverse, if they have a pricing page and barely any salespeople on their team then chances are they're plg now you won't achieve a hundred percent accuracy here but that's usually not something that we strive for it gets us 90 95 percent of the way there and that's a whole lot better than um than just praying and praying obviously so we have um the find sitemap urls function here from clay which is one of my favorite ones to use and we're just really basically looking for the word pricing they want to make sure that we exact match on less part of the url we keep that on uh simply because first of all usually there's nothing that comes behind pricing it's it, like it's usually like domain.com slash pricing and if we do not turn this on then it will also find just any blog that contains pricing in there or any pricing comparison or uh, imagine they have a, a future that is all about helping you optimize your pricing. That's that. So it just really drastically decreases accuracy. So we keep this turned on, then we run that and we have these, um, these results right here. Now, there are a lot of results here that say no site map, so no site map page is found. So it could be they don't have a site map or just it was it isn't in the usual location. So in those cases, if you want to improve your accuracy and match rate, what I would do is you get the um the um, let's say the scrape website function. It's not something that I did now, but I can show you how I would do it. Then you grab the actual company website. Then um, what we want is to get the links right here, all the links found on the website. And this is not going to be as accurate uh, as the sitemap function, but it will um, help you get a lot closer uh, in terms of accuracy. And then we only want to run this. Let me just use AI real quick. So only run if, let's see um total found is lower than one this should work i mean there's a bunch of ways you can phrase that i suppose so um yeah that should work that looks fine continue to add fields then we actually only want the links and the link text should probably do um and actually let me let me just run it so we can see what that looks like. And then we probably don't even have to add the column. So then we actually grab this, take action on list and let's try that again. Here we go. So with the formula, so return yes, if this list contains the word pricing, then that's that. So how we want to do that is um going to here then take action on list and then filter find keywords and more using formula 
and then the actual formula we have it right here so this one we can delete there we go and now we're a lot close so we can um let's say make a master column which has all the um, all the domains we're pricing but for now this is good enough because our next steps we can run that based on whether or not this has a yes or this has any value now we know all the companies that uh, if we run this we know all the companies that have a pricing page or a page that mentions pricing then if we overlay that with the amount of sales or business development roles that they have so sales business development this is a really straightforward uh shows that we're running here then um, that gets us a lot closer to knowing whether or not a company um, is uh, sales led or product led product growth led i suppose then to find out the the b2b SaaS part that it, the b2b part that is uh, pretty straightforward as well so you will just get the linkedin company page and then you want to get the description and then on that description, you run a really basic prompt saying, you know what, this is what a B2B company is. This is what a B2C company is. Then um, the output B2B, if this is a B2B company, yes or no. Now, most SaaS companies um, in this list are going to be B2B companies. But if you want to be 100% sure, then run that prompt as well. And that's how you find out about these 26,000 SaaS companies, which are most likely to be PLG and which are most likely to be sales led. So in my case, for example, I would only be interested in contacting the sales led companies and see if they can use my help with their outbound or with their outbound motion. And then the PLG companies I would filter out and I would save myself a lot of headache by not reaching out to them. So that's how we're using Clay and some pretty straightforward workflows to um, get a lot closer to what our actual TAM is with what I predict to be 90, 95% accuracy. And uh, we're saving ourselves, like I said, a lot of headache by not spraying and praying. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any other use cases you can think of that you would like me to run through, let me know in the comments wherever you're watching this and I will be happy to put together the table. For now, thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.